Hi everyone, another week, another set of exciting updates. So here's everything that we've added this week. Well, first thing in the Voxel editor, we've added, added a bunch of new colorful blocks. So now you can create levels using all these colored blocks. We've added uh, seven in total. In addition uh, to that, in paint mode, previously what you could, and you can still do that, is when you go in, you can just uh, drag your finger and you can easily paint blocks. But now we've made your painting experience much, much better. You see this little icon right here in the top or bottom left corner? If you turn that on, you now have square fill. And now you can do this. And this makes a, a building levels and worlds much faster, uh, much more fun. And it's not only additive, it is also subtractive. So you can go in and you can also delete large chunks of your worlds to create interesting worlds really quickly. You can also use this same um, fill mode as a replace. So if I want to replace this large chunk of um, grass with a different block, I can just start off from right outside it and then paint in and it will now become uh, ice. And then I can obviously uh, very easily uh, delete the excess. So now this allows you to really build your levels much much faster and much quicker uh, than before. And of course this paint mode applies to all of the different level editors. So if I go into the top down world, well then I can do the same thing uh, over here. And same thing also applies to the side scroller. So very quickly now, I can go in and I can start creating different shapes just the way I want. The other thing that we've also um, added in, now moving on to the rule system and all the interesting things that you can do with that, is, uh, well, uh, to demonstrate this, let's first just go and say that I'm going to go into my character. I'm going to add uh, one of the pre-made rules on it. So maybe just spawn. I'm going to make it spawn the coin right around me uh, every few, uh, every 0.5 seconds. And I'll make it do that around me, right? So this is, it does what we expect. It spawns it around. Now, one thing that's very common is that you want something to happen after a certain duration. So say I want these coins to actually destroy themselves after, say, two seconds. Previously, it was very hard to do that. But now we've added a very useful new block into the rule system, the weight block. So now what you can do is you can be like, okay, when this object is started, very simply, you can see here, right here, you have these two new blocks, the weight one frame and wait for seconds. So I can just say wait for seconds, two seconds. And then after that, just destroy yourself. Game destroy this object. And very quickly, I'm just going to name this to self destruct. And now very quickly, the coins will start doing what you expect them to do. They start destroying themselves two seconds after uh, they appear in the world. And of course, like uh, this weight token opens up a bunch of other possibilities and makes uh, building out more complex rules much, much easier. If you want to create like a dialogue system, it is now possible. So I can say that, okay, w when I tap on the uh, on the screen, maybe I first want to show a certain piece of text. So I can be like, um, here, show text. And if I want to now wait to show another piece of text, all I need to do is add in this wait token, say after five seconds, show another piece of text. There we go. So very quickly and very easily. Now when I go in, uh, you see the coins obviously still doing their thing. And if I now tap, you see the hello up here and five seconds later, the again will appear. So now it makes it much easier to create these sort of change, chained dialogues, more complicated rules which are based on, on timers or things that you just want to pause for a certain duration before it happens. One thing just to keep in mind is if you add multiple pages to a rule, uh, then the subsequent pages will only execute after all the weights in the pages before it are complete. 
so um, if I was to add something over here, uh, this would only execute after all these weights have completed. All right. Um, the other thing that we've also added in uh, is a, a couple of other very useful blocks. And you can see that we've added in two useful blocks over here. One, which is a round vector block. Uh, so that actually just takes a simple vector and it will round it. Uh, so if you were to do something like 5.2 or if this is based on, uh, on a calculation, it would just round it down uh, to 5. And the other very useful block that we have to work with vectors is uh, the clamp vector block. So if I say result of 1, which is right now my vector return from here, you'll see there's a new block here called clamp vector. And that takes two inputs, a minimum and a maximum number. And it will make sure that all uh, the values, uh, the three values in the vector, they stay between these two numbers. So if it's less than two, it will become two. If it's greater than five, it will become five. And in between will obviously uh, stay since that is a valid range. So this also makes working with things like moving uh, on a grid or st keeping vectors within a certain limit much, much easier to work with. And then moving out of the ed editor, Another interesting thing that we have now added is that if you go into uh, your feed and you say you play a game or uh, you're browsing through games, you play a game, you see something you like, you had this little heart button down at the bottom. But now that heart button, when you tap it, not only does it like the game and send a notification to, um, to the creator, but it will also add it into your personal library of liked games. So if you go into my games right here at the top, You'll now see there's a new section called light and all your light games can now be added into your personal library that you can use to play um, play them again or to just use them as a, a remix for a game that you're building yourself and which is why we've also now renamed this button up here from my drafts to my game since it contains your drafts your published games and any of the games that you have liked. Uh, even games that you liked in the past before we added in this feature will show up here as well. So super excited to see uh, what you build.